back to the bookworms, buddy. I am doing, it's not even really a tag, it's a would you rather. And I first saw this at Shannon's over at Lean Lights on her channel, and I thought it would be really fun um, to do this one. So I will link to her channel below in the comments, and also I will link to the original creator of this tag, if it's a tag. Anyway, would you rather? So there's just, it's real simple, 10 questions. So, I mean, if you want to do it, feel free to do it because it's really kind of fun. So would you rather read only trilogies or standalones? And this one's really hard for me. I absolutely love both. I love trilogies and I love standalones. Mm, I don't like to have to decide. I think I'm gonna go with standalones because I can read the book and then be done and move on to a whole new story. So I'm gonna go with standalone. Read only female or male authors. I really don't have a preference and since Stephen King is my favorite author and he's male, I would probably have to say male authors so I could read whatever new stuff he has coming out. Which, Mr. Mercedes, I need to read. It's on my Kindle. So I will get to that book soon. Just shop at Barnes and Noble or Amazon. Definitely go shop Barnes and Noble. Um, I just there's just something about being inside of a bookstore that I absolutely love. So sorry, Amazon. I have to choose Barnes and Noble on that one. All books become movies or TV shows. Now, if we're talking TV miniseries, um, I think the adaptions are a lot better. There are a few cases where they're not. Movies, though, you get it all in one shot, and you take it as it is. Um, a lot of times they're good adaptations, sometimes not so good. Like, like an example for me was The Shining. Like, the movie The Shining I thought was horrible, and everybody's like, oh, how would you think it was horrible? Because it was nothing like the book. Uh, I did like Jack Nicholson's role in that. I think he was fantastic. But... The miniseries, the made-for-TV one, was so close. Everything was almost identical to the book, but the actors weren't great. So I'm kind of up in the air on this. I'm just okay. I'm just gonna say the movies because just the movies. Do a movie. Um, read five pages per day or five books per week. That would drive me insane. I would have to read five books per week because reading five pages a day is just not big enough of a filler for me. I've got to read more than five pages in a day. Number six is be a professional reviewer or an author. I'm going to be really, really honest with this. I'm going to have to say reviewer. I do not have the patience to write a book. I can, however, write short stories, and I have wrote short stories, and poetry. It doesn't take my mind as long to have to operate. Um, I just, I don't think that I could sit down and write a book. I mean, it would take me probably forever to do that. So um, I'm going to stay reviewer on that one. Number seven, only read your top 20 favorite books over and over. Always read new ones that you haven't read before. I do love favorite books. I have a lot of favorite books. But there's always new books that are going to be favorites. And I want new content all the time. I want something new to read. So I'm going to have to go with read the new ones you haven't read before because you never know what you're going to find and there may be lots of new favorites so yeah new books number eight be a librarian or a bookseller these are like mm, right here with me I would love to do either one so mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say bookseller because I don't know why just I don't know, because you could push the book on people either way. So I just think booksellers probably have that opportunity a little better. And a booksellers, you could probably order books that you want in the store. Well, I guess librarians could, I don't know. I'm going to say bookseller, bookseller for me. Number nine, only read your favorite genre or every genre except your favorite. Hmm. My favorite genre, there's two, because I like horror and I like mystery, and I, I don't think I could survive not reading those. But then again, I'm trying to broaden my horizons, and I'm reading more young adults, and I'm reading more classics. Oh, I don't know. 
I'm going to have to say read my favorite genre because I could not go without reading my horror or my mystery. I don't think I could do that. So, my favorite genre. And number 10, only read physical books or ebooks. Now, I was purely a physical book reader. I've been converted. Just kidding. I've not been converted. But I have been enjoying more ebooks lately, but to choose between the two, it's going to have to be physical book. There's nothing like having a library where I can actually see all my books and the spines and the covers and sitting there on my shelves. So I am going to stick with physical books over ebooks, even though I've been enjoying them immensely as of late. So that's it guys, that's the 10 questions. Um, I will have everything in the description below if you would like to do this. I'm not gonna say you do or you do it. Anybody can do it that wants to. If you do do this, um, let me know in the comments and I will go check out your videos or let me know if you're going to do it and I will also check out your video. So yeah, it's really fun. Would you rather try it out? Go visit Shannon's channel and the original creator um, thanks guys for staying tuned and I will see you in the next video.